Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed and beautiful morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2023, on this month of December 11th, Monday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, to give God the glory, hallelujah, our Heavenly Father for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Last full morning, our Lord protected us. Let us lift a hand and give God the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for wonderfully leading us. Thank you for miraculously leading us. Thank you for being with us in our needs. Thank you. Your presence for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Last morning, Lord, for protecting us. Thank you. Father, last full morning, we enjoyed thy grace. You gave us good sleep last night and blessed us to sleep peacefully. Holy Spirit, you blessed us. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. With good health and happiness this morning, Father, for waking us up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are the one who woke us up. We did not wake up on our own, but you woke us up. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. This morning also, Father, for victoriously leading us. Thank you. Father, for holding your hand and for leading us. Thank you. For giving us the needed advice and wisdom and guiding us, Father, under thy control for making us, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for being with us and for helping us. Thank you. For being with us and for strengthening us, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Abba, Father, we worship you. We praise you for your mercy. Thank you. For your grace. Thank you. Father, for your compassion upon us, Father. Thank you. We remember your love and we thank you. The psalmist is saying in Psalms, hallelujah, in Psalm 67, verse number 1. God be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Today we in Christ, hallelujah, because he's merciful to us and has blessed us, let us thank him. And he has made his face to shine upon us. Christ Jesus has made our face to shine. Hallelujah, let us thank him. That you may be known on earth your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, God. Let all the peoples praise you. Verse number 7. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Let us pray together. Let us close our eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, together in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, for this morning we thank you. Last full morning. Miraculously, you led us, Father, thank you. You gave us good sleep last night, Father, thank you. With good health and happiness, Father, you woke us up, Father, thank you. This morning, Lord, for making it a day of victory, thank you. Father, this morning, everyone who is hearing this voice today, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bless and pray for them. Cover them all with your precious blood. In their needs, let your grace be there, everyone personally. Holy Spirit of God, for visiting them, thank you. Father, those who are sick right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Those who have got discomfort in the eye, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Also, those who have got a problem on the right leg, beneath, beneath the right leg, behind, those who have got a pain, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Also, Father, problems related to spinal cord, where they've got a problem on the backbone, where they can't stand, where they can't sit, those who are suffering, those who can't do their daily course, those who can't do, go for their work, those who are suffering in the name of Jesus Christ right now be healed. Let the power of God right now be upon thee from the tip of your head till the end of the tailbone. Those who have suffering from diabetes, and where you are wounded and the wounds are not being healed. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Those who are going to financial difficulty, Lord, deliver them. There are many without job. Father, the Lord who opens ways and doors for your children. Father, we thank you. Father, thy mighty work for revealing for thy children. Thank you. Father, deliver your children from financial problems. 
Father, let there be peace in families. We bless children. Father, give them the needed wisdom advice, O oh Father, to study. Let them be guided by thee, O oh Father. Let their peace be great, we pray. Also, Lord, those who are ministering for thy kingdom, those who are working for thy kingdom, Father, thank you for your presence being with them. Father, especially, we bless all our meetings. Let it be greatly glorious. Father, in thy presence, let today's meetings be covered, O oh Father. Let it be a reason for many people to be blessed and delivered. Father, let your name be glorified. Father, we pray. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah. Let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Let the peace, the joy, and the happiness of the Lord increase in your life in abundance, I pray. We are going to meditate on the same path that we meditated on yesterday, Joel chapter 2, verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. When the power of the Holy Spirit comes upon a person, all these things will be common in his and her life. Visions would be common, dreams would be common, prophecy would be common. When we are led by the Holy Spirit and when we are filled by the Holy Spirit in the first generation church, all these were common. And we saw them going through a lot of, lot of miracles happening. Hallelujah. Yesterday we heard about dreams God showing us. I thank God for people who prayed yesterday that God would show them good dreams and I thank God for them. Just by hearing the word is not enough. But the word should be practiced. You should pray and then sleep saying, Guide me through dreams. Speak to me through your dreams, Lord. And in my in dreams, let heavenly interventions be common. In that same manner is visions. In the New Testament, visions were common. It was visions that led them. The difference between dream and vision is a dream happens when we are sleeping. But visions, it's not necessary, it should be in our sleep. Usually, majority of that visions that they see is during when they used to pray. So we can also desire, Lord, speak to me through visions. Give me visions, Lord, in my life. Give me visions, show me visions. We should also pray. Visions in the New Testament church used to strengthen them. It used to make them bold. Hallelujah. New doors used to be opened through visions. In the book of Acts chapter 10, we can see Cornelius seeing a vision. And we can see when Peter sees a vision that people are coming to his home. Acts 10, 3. And about the ninth hour of the day, he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God coming in and saying to him, Cornelius. So he saw this in the morning. Cornelius. He's seeing it very clearly. An angel of the Lord coming to him, speaking to him. Cornelius is seeing it very clearly. And in that same manner, in Acts 18, 9 also, even Paul also is seeing, hallelujah, a very clear vision of a man coming and there are four animals. It is these two visions, the reason that the gospel came into the Gentiles. Paul was guided through a vision. Paul was not interested in going and speaking in between Gentiles. Hallelujah. But then that was the reason that the gospel was sent to the Gentiles. Doors were opened. Hallelujah. Doors of Cornelius' house was opened through vision. We also have got the gospel today. Today, let us also pray that many would see Jesus in visions like how Cornelius saw. How Cornelius' life changed through the vision. Let us also pray that many will see visions. And let us also pray that we also receive visions in our life. Hallelujah. Let me also read one more, one more verse for you. Now the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision. Do not be afraid, but speak. And do not keep silent. When situations came, that made Paul afraid. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord spoke. The Lord spoke to him saying, Do not be afraid, but go and speak. Today, let the church of God also see visions. Children of God, see visions in your prayers. Let you receive visions in your prayers. Let you be guided by visions 
in your prayers, let you be bold through visions. When God shows us visions, we will be bold. So like how you are praying these days for dreams, even to see visions, visions that would open your life, Open visions that would change your life. Ask the Holy Spirit. And when you do that, your life would change. For the word that is given to you, let us thank God. Let us pray. Father, everyone who is hearing this voice today, dreams, visions, let it be normal in the life. Holy Spirit of God, thank you for strengthening and showing the way that they need to go. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, our children will prophesy, a young man shall see visions, and the old man shall dream dreams. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed and highly favored. One thing remember, for those who are thirsty is where God intervenes. And if you decide greatly, God will bless you with dreams and visions. Hallelujah.